What's up you guys? How's it going? TGIF. Did you guys know that Dr. Dre has made more money from his beat headphones than he ever did producing music? Huh. So in my last video I asked you guys what superhero would you be and this is what you said. Also in the comments I asked you guys to spread awareness by putting hashtag stop bullying. So you'll see those comments down there as well. Today's question of the day is what's your biggest fear? So let's talk about 19 year old Jack Wee Beck. She just turned 17 years old and she just found out that she suffers from a rare condition which leaves her with no reproductive organs. She has ovaries but she doesn't have a womb, a cervix or a vaginal opening. When she looks at it it looks totally normal but the insides they're just not all there. So she was diagnosed when she was complaining about not having a period yet. All of her friends are having it, so why wasn't I? So Tess reveals that she had MRKH. It's a condition that affects 1 in 5,000 women. So right now she's undergoing treatment to enable her to have sex in the future. But saying that, with this condition, she's not able to have any kids. Jackie has now come to terms with this, and she wants to speak about it to raise awareness. She said she doesn't consider herself any different than any other woman. I think Jackie is very brave to share her story. Moving on, the World Trade Center is just declared the tallest building in America. The building right now is 1776 feet. God damn. And that beats out the previous record, the Willis Tower in Chicago. The One World Trade Center also becomes the third largest building in the world. Just behind the Burr Khalifa Tower in Dubai and the Mecca Clock Tower Hotel in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The One World Trade Center is scheduled to open next year, 2014. It cost $3.9 billion to build it. $1 billion actually came from the insurance when the 9-11 attack happened. Okay, so let me take you guys over to England where a a whole bunch of engineers came together to revolutionize the adjustable plane seats. As a passenger, you can now decide how big you want your seat to be. But it comes at a price though. The larger the seat, well, the more you're going to be paying. Well, these new seats, they're calling it morph seats. This is supposed to be the solution for big people having to pay for two seats. But you know what? This doesn't make sense to me because now bigger people are just paying more money for one seat. So is this the solution? Eh, I don't know. I think it's just a fat discrimination lawsuit waiting to happen. But what do you guys think? So last story of the day for you guys, Ross Edgley, he's 28 years old. Well, he just proved that he can lose 24 pounds in 24 hours. He wanted to push his body to the limits and teach everyone that it's not about losing fat. People are made up of 50 to 70% water, so it's all about losing the water weight. So for the next 24 hours, he only ate diuretics, which is food that makes you urinate a lot faster because he just wants to flush the water out of his body. So he's eating stuff like vitamin C, dandelion roots, and caffeine. He also went to saunas to just sweat it all out. Throughout the whole day, he was wearing a sweatsuit. And also, he took baths in Epsom salt. The salt's used to just suck the water out of your body. So here's the before and after picture of this guy. On the left, he's 208 pounds. On the right, he's way lighter. He's 183 pounds. This guy lost inches all around his body. What do you guys think about this whole thing? Do you believe it? I'm no expert or anything, but that's very dangerous. You're dehydrating your whole body. Like, what if your organ starts to fail? But anyways, viewers, that was your Friday's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> this video is not over. You guys thought it was over, didn't you? But now I don't have anything else to say. <laughs>